Hi guys. So it's the beginning of July and we're doing our first fertilizer update. I had one of uh, the comments from Tiger Shark. He said, why don't you do another bed and use the urine and wood ash, but stop watering it with that fertilizer when the blooms start. So if I back up for a second, I'll tell you that a lot of people have commented almost on every one of my test videos that there's too much nitrogen in urine and that if you continue to water with urine with or without the wood ash that the plant won't produce as much fruit because it's more into the green growth that nitrogen provides. So I never did that. I continued to water with urine and urine with wood ash and the miracle Grow and just the water for the control for months um, after bloom started and I always got really good results with it. But uh, Tiger Shark said, well, why don't you just give it a try? Do you have you know room for another bed? And I do. So I stuck in another bed. Now granted, it's a full week behind schedule, although the tomato plants are looking pretty good. So uh, like the other beds, I've got two tomatoes, two tomatillos, one pepper. I'm not sure it's the same kind of pepper as those were, um, and nine onions. But we'll, we'll see, you know, it's like I said, it's two weeks behind, but man, it's been cloudy here. It was really nice for one day, but I still haven't gotten any harvest yet. I'm barely getting flowers on anything, so the whole season is behind. Um, so anyway, I've got this new bed now, urine and wood ash, and then I'll stop watering with the urine after the blooms come. Now, tell me, do you think I should stop the ash too and just use water, or should I continue the ash because it's got other benefits in it? I'll put that down because right now I can't remember off the top of my head what those benefits are. So um, these tomatoes that I planted in here are from the same batch that these are, however, um, these were just still in the uh, start start bed, so they grew along pretty nicely. The tomatillos are okay. The ones in the beds are doing a lot better, so we'll just see if it catches up. So that's the update uh, for the first update. Not much, you know, progress other than everything's still alive. So here's uh, that bed I just planted. Here's the control bed. So I got the tomatoes, tomatillo pepper, and the nine onions. And here's the miracle grow bed. And I just watered in today. Onions are looking great, peppers looking great, um, tomatillos, tomatoes, everything looks good. Here's the urine. And my onions. I think the miracle Grow onions actually look better than the urine onions do. Um, peppers look about the same, but the wood ash and urine Onions, I think, look the best. I've got three and four leaves on this one, uh, two and a half pepper, tomatillos, and tomatoes. And then I've got a cucumber that started itself in the middle over there. So we're going to keep an eye on everything, and uh, I'll do an update. Um, people seem pretty interested in this, so I might do weekly updates. I'm not sure, or bi weekly. Uh, and I also wanted to thank Michael Farmer, who do, did something super cool for me. And I just wanted to uh, call him out by name and send you over to his channel. It's a small channel, but if you're a fan of Bruce Campbell and Ready Player One, then you might want to go over and check out some of his stuff. And look, we've got the bumblers. Oop, where'd you go? There you are. Hi, bumbler. I know these geraniums are invasive, but they bring the bees, right? Here's my starch where those tomatoes came from. Anyway, go check out Michael Farmer, and uh, I'll link his channel and do a mention him for him down below. So there you have it. That's our update. Let me know what you think about this new bed. Should I stop the wood ash when I stop the urine? And that's when everything is blooming. Obviously, the onions, you know, they're... I'm not going to let them go to bloom. But the tomatillos, if one blooms and one doesn't, then I'll just continue watering the one that um, hasn't bloomed with the 
the concoction uh, until it blooms and maybe I don't know a couple blooms or something what do you guys think so let me know and uh, yeah we'll keep an eye on my my little experiment here if I can get anything to grow look how gray it is today it's July 2nd oh maybe some sunshine finally by the way these uh, Spanish Mexican fiesta flags they're keeping the birds away well right here I should say anyway thanks for watching